Hi folks, I'm Scott and this is Steel by Hutton. Today I'm going to show you a CNC plasma cutting project that I'm working on and uh, talk to you a little bit about the equipment that I've been using to build it and uh, where I'm at on my project. So these are the X axis uh, bearing plates or sliders um, for my table. Um, they're all made out of quarter inch steel. I used uh, <clears throat> open source components. These are just ball bearings and shoulder bolts. Um, and the, the milling and stuff was done on a Bridgeport mill. Um, one of the reasons why I brought my small grizzly bench top was I was having problems uh, getting the quality and size holes I wanted. These I actually did with a oxy fuel torch and I didn't like the finish on them so I decided that uh, I was going to buy a, a bench top milling machine anyway eventually so I decided I should just buy it now. Um, so I was able to build these plates uh, and the way these plates work is they actually hold the uh, they actually hold the stepper motor and they're hinged so that when you put them on the machine, there's a little, there's about, I don't know, three eighths to a half inch of travel. So you can tension them onto the pinion drive. So I'm doing rack and pinion drive on this uh, direct drive. I'm going to use a direct drive just because of the simplicity of it for right now and, and get me up and going and see if it's worth the investment to do a belt reduction or hopefully eventually buy a professional table um, but for right now I'm gonna build it myself because I can do it cheaper and I can uh, I can do it pretty pretty high quality too so I'll show you how these fit up and what the idea for the, uh, the gantry is gonna look like <clears throat> tree is going to be built. Um, it's actually going to use, these are the actual side rails right here, it's a inch and a half by three inch uh, rectangular mechanical tubing. I think it's one 120 wall so it's pretty thick for what I'm doing um, and on top of that, this is just a mock-up, but on top of that I have a quarter inch by two piece of cold rolled and then cleverly sandwiched right next to that if I can get my camera to turn is the drive gear, the pinion gear. It's a 20 degree rack gear for the pinion. Um, so it's a pretty good system I think. It's going to be pretty compact. Compact is important for me because I'm in a one car garage. So. Um, the way this will work is my carriers uh, basically just slide on. Okay, and then once they're on there, the uh, the weight of the gantry is going to ride on the two ball bearings on the top, and then the four ball bearings along the edges will keep it square. Um, and, and once you put on the uh, once you put on the Y axis, I think it's going to be the Y axis. Once you put on the other axis, this will sit flat. But this is where the swivel is. And uh, right now, you can see that there's a. If I rock it back and forth, you can hear the backlash. But as soon as you take a little tension off it no backlash at all um, so I'm pretty excited about that right now I'm still mocking stuff up uh, I drew this all up in um, Creo or Pro E 3d modeling software and then my free demo for the software expired so I'm in the process of redoing it all in uh, just regular AutoCAD 2d drawing um, just to help me. <clears throat> uh, the next step for this project, for the CNC project, is going to be uh, 
finishing finishing the other side uh, I've got to get the correct size shoulder bolts right now I have uh, half inch long shoulder bolts and I need I need quarter inch long so that when I put them in here the uh, so that when I put them in here so when I put them through uh, the plate can't wobble back and forth I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in there. I'll just show you. Put these in here, and there's a gap like that at the top. So if I get the quarter-inch ones, there won't be a gap there. And I'm also gonna get uh, shims. That way, I can just make this a really tight fit, so there's no backlash uh, between my aluminum plate and my steel plate. <clears throat> My my Y and my Z axis. This is my this is my Y axis. It's just uh, V rollers, three of them for right now, <clears throat> and I have a piece of three sixteenth by four inch uh, steel that this is going to roll back and forth on. And it rolls pretty well. Seems to work all right. I'm a little concerned about my gantry weight, but for right now, I think it'll be okay. Um, for my z-axis I decided to go with these uh, really slick uh, linear ball bearing ways um, they're super smooth I gotta buy another one they're, they're like 30 bucks uh, buy them on Amazon or whichever linear supply you want these are just from China the um, reason I like this is because I can buy the cheap stuff from China and use it and prove it out and then if I want to I can upgrade to a to an American made high quality one with uh, with steel uh, wipers and stuff that way they don't get fouled up with uh, grinding dust and plasma cutting dross and junk <clears throat> so that's where I'm at on my plasma uh, I started this project probably designing it probably two years ago two or three years ago um, and I had it all. I had it all pretty much designed on the computer. Um, so I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. Um, the stuff that I don't know about is I have no idea. Um, like these stepper motor that I bought. Um, <clears throat> I bought this stepper motor from an online retailer that was part of a kit. I just bought the one because I wanted to be able to mock some of this stuff up and test fits and sizes, but. Uh, you can see it's actually a it's an automation technology stepper motor but it's a it's a 0.9 degree per step so it has 400 steps per revolution instead of 200 so I think that might cause me some issues and I think if I buy the kit from automation technologies I'm going to try to get them to substitute a regular uh, 200 steps per revolution stepper motor instead of this 400 because I don't think I need that. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. Since I am doing direct drive, I'm going to use micro stepping to try to get the resolution I want without uh, spending all the money on a gear reduction for right now. Um, some of the other stuff I have to do, I have to order more of this uh, quarter by four uh, aluminum plate because I need it to build the rest of the parts for this axis. Um, for this axis, I need to make a. I need to make a motor mount, similar situation to this, a swiveling. I need to make a swiveling motor mount, uh, swiveling motor mount, and a base plate for it. So those are some of the things I'm working on. Um, one of the other things I'm trying to get together is, what am I going to make? So that'll probably be another video. Plasma build. That's where I'm at right now. Uh, maybe in the future I'll try to break the gantry out and show you how it's all going to work together. It's kind of hard to visualize sometimes when it's all broken down, but I have a pretty small space and I need to, to have room. I had to break everything down to get my little milling machine in. But uh be coming at you with another video of what Steel by Hutton is, what I do, 
uh, a little bit more on my background and what abilities I have and what some of the things are I'm going to try to do with my business. Uh, right now, this is just the start of it. So thanks for checking it out. Bye.